Arr, Bobos. What is up? It is another Brawl Out Bubby Guide. This time, it's about Sephira. Might as well call her Back Era, because her back airs are pretty insane. Not only is it a jagged hitbox, but the knockback at anything plus 80 is just ridiculous. It's also a really good spacing tool, especially when you're in that one stock difference that means the game. I mean, you know, you just gotta land it. Now, it takes some getting used to, but with good practice, the back air is a key tool. Another great combo is down air into down tilt. Because Sephira's down tilt does kind of this like jumping kick motion, which is really good for spacing again. And I keep saying spacing a lot, but it's really a key part in Brawl Out because since there's no shields in this game and you have to rely on just like fast paced combat, if you're spaced out well enough, you'll be able to come back with some key combos that really change the tide of the game. Now, Sephira's speed is also key when trying to play her, because she's one of the fastest characters in the game. Another move that gets performed really fast is Seph's dash attack. Now, her dash attack can be spammed, but against a sealed player, all they would do is either spot dodge or just, you know, jump. And if you have a well-timed dash attack, you can follow it up into an up air. Her side special throws out a dust ball, and the dust ball can be used as a shield to block incoming dash attacks from opponents. Let's say for example, Chief Feathers is doing a little dash dance into dash attack. All you have to do is read the dash dance, and then go in for a side special, and he's either going to jump, which can lead into a nair, which is also another good tool, or you can jump, turn around, and do a back air on him. Especially against Chief Feathers, one of the lightest characters in the game, it is a really good kill confirm combo. When facing brawlers with similar weight to Chief Feathers, it is key that you land these back airs. All in all, Sephira's back air is a great aerial punish tool. Now her forward air is really good too because it's a quick succession of three kicks that can be performed while fast falling. And then if you hit the ground while you're still performing those three kicks, it turns into a forward tilt. Because in this game, there's basically no lag for every move or special ability you have, meaning you can play off that with the forward air. A great combo I like to do is jump into forward air and then when I hit the ground and I'm near them, I go forward tilt, and most likely they're in hit stun from the forward air that I'm able to, you know, get the punish off of them. The sand trap is also a very good tool that Seth has. Not only does it block dash attacks by, let's say, characters like Chief Feathers, it also blocks running special attacks too. So they're forced the jump. That being said, that can be easily led into a punish by Sephira's back air, or Nair, as stated previously. Finally, Sephira's just a fun character to play. She's very top tier in the current build of the game, and I would say as a tournament brawler, i definitely give her a try. Well everybody, I hope you found enjoyment in the guide. And if I missed any combos or secret stress on Ceph, just let me know in the comments. And I'll be uploading a guide on every single brawler. Currently, right now, I have Olaf, Tyson, and this one, Sephira. So if, if you like Bubby guides, stay tuned for more to come. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.